tropical cyclones uh, this is a very popular question uh, differentiate between a uh, temperate cyclone and a uh, tropical cyclone ye uh, uh, gs me pooch sakta hai uh, pucha ek bar and also an optional temperate cyclone and tropical cyclones so the themes of differentiation will be what is the origin what is the structure what will be the weather conditions what are the uh, uh, locations and how do they move the movement and anything else miscellaneous you have in mind so temperate cyclones uh, uh dynamic in nature uh, linked to the polar front uh, linked to the rossby waves polar front uh, linked to rossby waves uh, it's associated with okay uh, uh, with uh, the air mass uh, interactions uh, this is a cold a uh, core cyclone why because it is not related to direct heating okay so tropical cyclones are dynamic in origin they are uh, polar front locations the polar front is the mid latitudes high mid latitudes polar front they are related to rossby waves and air mass interactions tropical cyclones they are thermal in origin because of a uh, tropical heating uh, this is uh, related to okay your your, your uh, warm waters warm waters and uh, this is a a, a warm a uh, core cyclone it is a warm core cyclone first point the second point uh, some facts about the size the shape so temperate cyclones are very large i said more than uh, 1000 kilometers a uh, diameter can also touch almost uh, 3000 kilometer diameter they are very large systems they are not as powerful they are not as uh, powerful uh, generally the wind speeds are about uh, uh, 50 kilometers an hour uh, 60 kilometers an hour in any case the wind speeds are not more than 80 kilometers an hour in general there will be large systems uh, frontal systems the wind speed uh, same thing about tropical cyclones uh, tropical cyclones are relatively much smaller much smaller the diameters are not more than uh, 500 kilometers okay but generally okay they can be in the range of 100 a uh, 10 kilometers diameter also Okay, they are much smaller, not as large. The diameter is not more than five hundred, not more than five hundred uh, kilometers. But generally, the diameter is around hundred, three hundred kilometers diameter. And these are very violent systems. The thermal systems, the very violent systems. The wind speeds, the wind speeds uh, can exceed eighty kilometers. they can range of 100 120 kilometers and the very powerful ones the wind speeds can exceed 160 180 kilometers per hour also then they are called as uh, super cyclones okay dekho ye sab facts jo hai na uh, you don't need remember the exact value why because this is not standardized okay ek kuch aur standardization will come back on the afterwards so remember these numbers always in terms of range okay uh, don't say sir kitab mein to likha hua hai 110 okay always keep a range more than 80 about 100 120 in some cases unusually very powerful they become this so know the range of the values so uh, large systems not powerful small systems very powerful acha now in terms of a structure in terms of structure we said these are uh two fronts here yeah, two fronts hain there is a, a cold front there is a, a warm front and you know you know the rest the warm front is moving ahead 
and the cold from behind and overtakes the worm eventually. Okay, the two fronts uh, are rotating about the common low pressure center. Okay, whereas uh, 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 a tropical cyclone is essentially a very powerful, very strong uh, cumulonimbus cloud. It's a very powerful, very strong cumulonimbus cloud. And uh, uh, in case of temperate cyclone, okay, there are specific uh, warm and uh, uh, cold sectors. Hote hain. The cold air, uh, warm air. In case of this, there are no such there are no such sectors. Okay, there are zones. We have the outer uh, cyclone, the uh, peripheral cyclone, the annular zone, the inner cyclone, the eye and the eye wall. Okay, these zones, hai, but they're not in terms of okay, warm or the cold sector. Warm cold sector okay, is different here. Absolutely correct. Yes, I, I'll come to that. And this happens because this happens because uh, there is a very important role uh, played by the moisture. Achha, now, come to the next one. Uh, so, in a, a temperate cyclone, uh, what drives the system? What drives the system is okay, a dynamic a low pressure plus you have the air mass contrast. Okay, the system ko kaun bana hai? Who's making the system? Okay, the what drive system is a dynamic low pressure as a trigger that we have because of the Rossby waves plus the air mass a contrast. In case of a tropical cyclone, what drives the system is the warm air, which is because of okay latent heat of condensation. So what drives very important factor hai, the moisture in the air drives the system of tropical cyclones. Okay, the latent heat of condensation uh, plays a very important role. Okay, plays very important Or here, if you can add some of the other conditions required, other uh, conditions required uh, for tropical cyclones. Uh, we need to have moisture. Uh, we need to have a strong uh, Coriolis force. Okay, it is on, on the tropical waters where the temperatures are not less than temperatures are not less than 27 degrees centigrade. Okay, we must have a, a weak uh, wind shears. Okay, plus you must also have an upper tropospheric high pressure, a divergence. Okay, agar air rise kar raha hai, air must diverge out somewhere. If air is rising, it must diverge out somewhere. Okay. Plus, there must be no such disruption going on here. A very smooth rise and diverge out. These are the five conditions for uh, tropical cyclones. I repeat, there must be presence of moisture. We need a strong Coriolis force. So not formed near the equator. We need temperatures of the water to be not less than uh, 27 degrees centigrade. Uh, there must be weak shearing. Uh, disturbance nahi hona chahi, weak shearing and uh, uh, the upper tropospheric high pressure so that we can have divergence. Air rises and divergence. So, if this is weak, ho jayega, the rising will stop. Uh, example of drain pipe I told you. Okay, air must come in and air must go out. If air doesn't go out, the system will not run. Okay, So, uh, this explains uh, uh, how the, this runs. Uh, apart from this, uh, 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 so, so this is therefore in the late uh, summers. Uh, this is only on the waters. Uh, they die off uh, when they hit the land. In the late summers, uh, when the waters are warmer and they form on the waters and they die off when they hit the land. Hit the land, we have called this as the landfall. Landfall means they'll die off. Isikasat talk about temperate cyclones. So temperate cyclones are uh, throughout the year. Temperate cyclones become more powerful in the winters. Yeah, I'm repeating. So uh, uh, keep pace there. So they are throughout the year. Winters may because the contrasts are powerful. So the system is very powerful. Okay. And this can form on the land and on the water. 
is not only on the water, land or waters. And uh, uh, we said that uh, uh, in temperate cyclones, in temperate cyclones, uh, there is no landfall as such. Okay, so so they they are not affected by the land and the continentality, not affected by land and continentality, uh, but uh, on the waters, on the waters, uh, we have the low pressure triggers. So Aleutian low pressure, Icelandic low pressure, Barents Sea low pressure, Alberta low pressure. So ये सिर्फ पानी में बनते नहीं हैं, ये land में भी होते हैं, but on the waters they can be the triggers. That's where they can start off. Okay, so on the waters they can be the triggers for the low pressure. They are the uh, favored locations where they can develop. Aleutian low pressure. Icelandic low pressure, Aleutian low pressure, Icelandic low pressure, uh, Barents Sea, okay, and uh, Alberta low, Alberta low near the Great Lakes, near the Great Lakes, okay. Uh, in case of uh, uh, tropical cyclones, they mentioned you have uh, uh, Caribbean Sea, uh, Arabian Sea, Bay of Bengal, uh, South China Sea, Philippine Sea. So mention some names here. So where? the tropical cyclones are formed preferably. And do mention that tropical cyclones are not as common in the southern hemisphere. Why southern hemisphere waters are not as warm? Because of good mixing, less amount of land. All done here. And the tracking. Last minute tracking. I said in general, uh, tropical cyclones will move uh, from west towards east. And uh, there is an impact of the Rossby waves. They can move north and south, in general, from west towards east. But Rossby waves impact. Tropical cyclones in general, okay, and this is because influence of the mid-latitude westerlies. Impact of mid-latitude westerlies. And tropical cyclones, they move in general from east towards the west. Influence of the trade winds. Plus, Influenced by the regional monsoon winds. Influenced by the regional monsoon winds. Uh, what is the mechanism? I forgot that point. That uh, uh, temperate cyclones, temperate cyclones, they have a proper life cycle. They have a proper life cycle. 10-15 uh, days ka life cycle hai. Uh, Rossby waves ka impact hai. Uh, you can mention names also, incipient stage, mature stage, uh, frontalysis stage, occlusion state. Uh, say something there. Okay, whereas a uh, tropical cyclone, uh, there is no definite life cycle. Approximately five, six, seven days ka hota hai. Okay, and mention there, there is a, a low pressure beginning, a mature stage, landfall in dies off. Yes, you can, in fact, uh, uh, if, you, if your word permits a uh, temperate cyclone, uh, what type of weather change? The weather change of uh, uh, first a warm front uh, and then a weather change of a cold front. Uh, tropical cyclones may how weather changes. So scattered rain, a bit more of rain, a subdued rain, very heavy rain, very powerful winds and the heaviest rain, I becomes quiet. So we have the peripheral cyclone, scattered rains. The outer cyclone, some rains. The annular zone, subdued rains. The inner cyclone, very good rains. I wall the maximum rains, maximum speed, I becomes quiet. So, you can add what is the sequence of weather changes, the influence of the cyclones. <laughs>